Hey everyone, here I'm doing exercise 3.4, playing with numbers of class 6. The question is, find the common factor of, we have a 4 question, the first one is 20 and 28. Now before we find the common factor, we have to find out the factors of the given number. So first we're going to find the factors of 20 and 28 and then later we're going to find out the common factor. So let's start the first question. So since the number they have given are smaller numbers, we're going to check them from 1 to 10 table if these numbers are divisible or these numbers goes in from 1 to 10 table. And then we're going to find out the factors. So I'm going to start with 20. So we know that 1 into 20 is equal to 20, right? Then the second is 2 tens is 20. So let me rewrite this once again. So 1 into 20 is 20, 1 20 is a 20, so 1 into 20 is equal to 20. The second is 2 tens are 20, right? So it goes in 2 table, it doesn't go in 3 table, it, it goes in 4 table. So 4 fives are 20. It doesn't go in 6 table, 7 table, 8 table, it doesn't go in 9 table, it goes in 10 table but uh, we know that 10 into 2 is also 20 or 2 tens are 20 so we're going to stop here. And then we know 20 into 1 is also 20 but since we have written 1 into 20 we're going to stop. We have to just check from 1 to 10 that's it. Now the factors will be, you have to write down all this number 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20. All this will be the factors of 20. Okay. Now I'm gonna find out for 28 also, and then I'm gonna write down uh, of factors of 20 and 28. Now 28, right? So 1 into 28 is 28. It goes in two table. 2 into 14 is 28. It uh, doesn't go in three table. It goes in four table. Four sevens are 28. And it doesn't go in five table. It doesn't go in six table, and it doesn't. Go, it goes in seven table. But since we have written four sevens are and seven fours are both are same, so I'm not going to write down that. It doesn't go in eight table, nine table, and ten table. So we're going to stop here. Now the factors will be one, two, four, seven, fourteen, and twenty-eight. So let us write down the factors here. So factors of twenty are. It is one. 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. Now we are going to write down the factors of 28. So this is 1, 2, so 1, 2, 4, 7, 14 and 28. So 1, 2, 4, 7, 14 and 28. Now we have to write down the common factor. Common means which are present in both. So common factors will be so common factors are now let us circle the one which are common here. So 1 will be common. 1 is always a common factor. You can see 2 is also common. 4 is also common. Apart from that there is no other common factor. So common factors will be 1, 2 and 4. That's it. Now we're going to do the same thing for the uh, rest of the question. We're going to find out the factors of each number and then we're going to find out the common factor. So let me erase this part. Okay, so second question, we have 15. So 1 into 15 is 15. It doesn't go in 2 table, it goes in 3 table, 3 5 is a 15. After 3 it goes in 5 table, 5 3 is a. But since we have written 3 5 is a, 5 3 is a, both are same, so we don't have to write down that. After 15, uh, after 5 table it doesn't go in any other table, so we're going to stop here. We have to just check till up to 10 because the numbers are small. You don't have to check up to 15 table, you can just check till 10 table. So factors we have got, now do, we're going to do for 25. So 1 into 25 is 25. And next we have 5 into 5 is 25. And after that it doesn't go in any other table. If you can check from 2, 3, 4, 5, we have written 5 for the 25. It doesn't go in 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. That's it. So we're going to write down the factors now. So factors of 15 will be 1. Write down in this, go in this sequence. 1, 3 and then go in this way. 1, 3, 5 and 15. So 1, 3, 5 and 15. 
the next we're going to write down the factors of 25 so 1 5 and 25 now we're going to write down the common factors so common factors are common factors are 1 will be always common and 5 that's it so 1 and 5 then next one 30 and 50 so let me raise this question here so this is problem C fine so 35 we have so 1 into 35 is 35 and after 1 it doesn't go in 2 table all the odd numbers doesn't go in even number table so don't check that it doesn't go in 3 table also uh, 3 elevens are 33 3 twelves are is 36 so does 35 doesn't come it doesn't go in 4 table like I mentioned 35 is an odd number so it doesn't come in even number table it, so don't check in 2, 4, 6, 8 like that and the next we have is a 5 so 5 sevens are 35 and next after that we don't have any other table we have to, you have to just check up to 10 because they are smaller number they are 2 digit number right so you can just check up to 10 table that's it now now it doesn't go in any other table you can check up to 10 table it doesn't go and next we have is 50 so 1 into 50 is 50 50 is an even number so it goes in 2 table so 2 into 25 is 50 now if it doesn't know it what number we should multiply with 2 to get 50 you can divide 50 and 2 you will get the answer 25 okay? now 50 doesn't go in 3 table it doesn't go in 4 table it goes in 5 table 5 tens are 50 now it doesn't go in 6, 7, 8 and 9 it goes in 10 table but since we have written 10 into 5 so it's same thing 5 into 10 now we're going to write down the factors here. So factors of 35 will be 1, 5, 7 and 35. Next factors of 50 will be 1, 2, 5, 10, 25 and 50 now we're going to write down the common factors so common factor I'm going to write down here so common factors will be now 1 will always be common and 5 is also common here and that's it no other number so 1 and 5 okay 1 and 5 are the common factors here the last question we have is 56 and 120 so let me erase this so this is last question so first is 56 so 1 into 56 is 56 now 56 is an even number it goes in 2 table so 2 into 28 28 2 is uh, 56 so 2 into 28 is equal to 56 now 56 goes in, uh, it doesn't go in 3 table, it goes in 4 table. So 4 into, uh, what you should multiply, 4 into 14 is equal to 56. You can divide 56 and 4, you will get 14 there. In case you doesn't know with what you should multiply, you can divide and check. If the remainder is 0, it means that the answer, like the number goes in that table. If remainder is not 0, then it doesn't go in that table. Okay, You can check in that way. Now 56 doesn't go in 5 table and it doesn't go in 6 table, it goes in 7 table, 7 8s are 56. Now it doesn't go in 9 table, it doesn't go in 10 table, so we're going to stop here. We're going to find out for 120, so 1 into 120 is 120. Now it's even number, so it goes in 2 table, so 2 6 is 12, right? so 2 into 60 will be 120. It goes in 3 table. We know 3 4s are 12. So 3 into 40 will be 120. Okay, you can check in this way. Then uh, 4 table also. 4 into 4 3s are 12. So 4 into 30 will be 120. Next, I'm going to write down here. 
uh, it goes in five table because number ends with zero it goes in five table also so five into uh, 24 will be 120 okay now it goes in six table six choose are 12 so six into 20 will be 120 it doesn't go in seven table it doesn't go it goes in eight table uh, so eight into so eight ones are eight and uh, we have a uh, 12 right so 15 we'll get 8 into 15 is 120 okay then next we have is a uh, uh, 9 table it doesn't go in 9 table and uh, it, it goes in 10 table directly so 10 into 12 is equal to 120 that's it so you can stop here we're gonna write down the comp we're gonna write down the first factors so factors of uh, 56 first so factors of 56 will be from here write down all the factors and then again you write down this factors here so 1 2 4 7 8 14 28 and the last one is 56 now factors of 120 are more so factors of 120 is 1 from here you're going to write down all the numbers right and then from here you write down this numbers also so 1 2 3 4 let me write down here 5 6 8 10 also uh, let me write down in ascending order so if i write down 1 2 3 4 30 40 uh, it will be like uh, a bit confusing finding out the common one so let me write down in ascending order so 1 2 3 4 i'll go write down 5 6 8 10 and then I'll go write down in this. I'll go, I'm, in this case, I'll go write down in ascending order. You can write down any way. Just to um, we we should not get confused by finding the common factor. That's why I'm writing in ascending order. So one, two, three, four. Then we have five, six, eight, uh, ten, and then we have uh, twelve. I'm writing this twelve, fifteen, twenty. Okay, twelve, fifteen, twenty. And then 24. After 24, I'll go write down here 30, 40, 60, and 120. So 30, 40, 60, and 120. Now I have to find out the common factors, right? So common factors will be let me underline them. So 1 is a common factor here, 2 is a common factor, 4 is common factor and then we don't have a uh, 7 and 6 so 8 is a common factor and we don't have a 14 we don't have a 28 we don't have 56 that's it so common factors will be 1 2 4 and 8 so let me write down this here i'm gonna erase this part okay and the common factors will be so common factors are 1 2 4 and 8 that's it so we have done the first question here i hope it's clear how to find out the factors in case the number is smaller like it's a two digit number you can check from 1 to 10 table and you can do in this way now in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching